Room is like room 4880. So, let's take a look. So, I'm starting the review with the rooms and I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. Absolutely love them. They were modern, so clean. The entire resort is clean, but the rooms were very clean. Love the layout with the double sinks, the separate toilet. The shower had this beautiful rainfall shower. And they had these amazing huge beds, as you can see, which I absolutely loved, and then the separate sitting area. And this is the view of the premium level suite. So we actually ended up changing later to a regular room, but that's not why we're giving it a 9 out of 10. Um, I'm going to tell you later why we're giving it a 9 out of 10, but look at this amazing, beautiful view um, from the premium level. your very own jet spa tub right on the porch. I'm definitely going to be using that. The thing for the 9 out of 10 is because it's just not stocked with um, snacks or liquor or wine. There are a few beers in the fridge, but I'm the type of person where after dinner, maybe like to come back to the room, sit on the patio, have a glass of wine or a few drinks. So if that is you. Recommendation is at the airport. Buy a few bottles of duty free for you to bring into the room. Also, the room service is not good. I'm not a huge room service person, but if you are, you may have lowered that rating. So if you are a room service person, this is not the resort for you. So this makes all the difference in the world, I think. Like, just pay a little bit more and this is what you can wake up to every morning. I mean, you're already on vacation. You're already spending the money. Get the ocean front room. Amazing. We decide to change rooms. It's the exact same room you'll see here from the layout, um, but we had upgraded to the premium level thinking that we were going to get premium level service, and we really didn't. Um, there wasn't, I mean, there was a special check in, but not really. We were supposed to get upgraded liquors, but it was the same for everyone. The free room service, we realized that it's something that we're not going to take advantage of. So we decided just to downgrade back, and they were great about it. And you can see here the view actually we liked better. Here it is at night, and you'll see it here in the morning. Um, but we actually liked it a lot better, and it's actually closer to the lobby, which we liked as well. So there wasn't as much walking. We were so, so happy that we downgraded. So we definitely recommend for this resort just stick with the regular level if you're at one of the Barcelo other resorts which you can use they're actually right next door our understanding is that the premium level really makes a difference because you get all those extras but this is already an upgraded resort and you just don't need it so we're giving the pools a 9 out of 10 as well. We absolutely loved the pools. They were so clean. They have five pools. They're all next to each other, which we actually liked. I'm not one that likes to go, you know, walking all around a resort to the different pools. So love that. Tons of seats. You never have to get up early and reserve chairs, which annoys me when I go to resorts and you have to do that. Here it is at night, beautiful, beautiful view. And these are the swim out suites that have the pools in the rooms. And so it's nothing that I would recommend um, only because it didn't seem like it had a lot of privacy. And also those upper level views when you wake up in the morning are just to die for. So to me, I wouldn't want to give that up just to have a pool in my room. Plus the pools are right there which is what we love. We love that the pools were right there next to the beach. The reason why it was a nine out of 10 is because the water is super, super, super cold, almost painful, I think, because they had a few cold nights. And also there's no food service, um, I think, you know, to keep it cleaner. You can get drink service, but not food service. And, but they had tons of activities. You know, here's ping pong, they had bingo, they had dancing. Um, and it was just a really, really fun vibe. And um, even the, these hammocks, it was just really fun, relaxing, loved everything about it. And the buffet is right there. So if you wanted a snack, you just get up and go over there. It keeps it clean. Great alcohol choices as well. All right, so a pet peeve of mine when I come to resorts is the towels. I hate having to give a room card for towels. I hate you only get one or whatever the thing is. After exchange them, come here. You have as many towels as you want. Whenever you want, you don't have to get your part.
So one of the things that is a must for me is the beach. And in Cancun, that's kind of been a little bit of a challenge because not every resort has a really nice beach. This is absolutely exactly what I love about a beach. It's beautiful blue water, it's clean, the white sand, a little bit of waves, but not too much. Now I can't wait to see what the temperature's like. Another reason for the 10 out of 10 is that it's so walkable. In fact, the entire span of the beaches are aligned with other Barcelo resorts that you actually have access to. So loved that as well. I do recommend bringing these water shoes when you come. In fact, I almost gave the beach a nine out of 10 because it is a little bit rocky out um, in the water and the water shoes, um, however, are perfect. So if you bring your water shoes, there's no issue. We did find this little spot right here, right by the huts over by the lifeguard stand where there was absolutely no rocks, but bring those water shoes and you will have no issue at all. The food and restaurants were again a 9 out of 10. The food was absolutely outstanding. Here we are at the Miramar Buffet. It's very close to the pools and the beaches and literally has everything and anything you could think of. They have you wear masks. It's super clean. They are serving you and the variety is really, really outstanding. It is, oh my gosh, they have so many choices and it's all fresh, like fajitas, they have steaks over here, and look at this, you can get fresh fish, made to order. I've never seen anything like this in all the times I've been to an all-inclusive, truly, truly amazing. So it's our first night here and we are actually going to be eating in the Italian restaurant. But all of the restaurants are in one hallway, which I kind of actually like. They're easy to get to. Um, but let's, let's see how it's Italian restaurant is. So we absolutely loved all of the restaurants that we ate at when we were there. We were only there for three nights. So um, we were able to eat at the Italian, the Mexican, and the hibachi. They were all wonderful. I think the Italian was my favorite. Here, as you can see, I'm talking about how much I loved the soup, and my expectations were very low. But the only reason why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 is because I felt like during the day, there was only that buffet option, and sometimes it's nice to have like a little grill or a food truck. And also, there was no cafe or at night, like an ice cream place or something like that, which is nice to have too um, after you've had dinner. But other than that, the food was re really good. And the other great thing is you have access to all of the other Barcelo resorts. There was only one other open because of COVID, but if we had stayed longer, we could have tried some of their restaurants. And our friends actually did stay long. A uh, little longer and they tried the French restaurant and they said that one was their favorite. So overall the food was really amazing. There were so many activities to do at this resort because you had access to all of the other Barcelo resorts. Um, now many of them were closed. There was only one that was open but here you can see they did have their dolphin tank open um, which seemed like a lot of fun and again in all honesty it was only there for three nights so I didn't really take advantage of all the activities but it was great knowing that there was so much that you could do. Um, we walked down here to the paradise um, portion of the Barcelo and you had complete access to it, the restaurants, everything, the pools but this was the only other resort that was open at the time during COVID. So just make sure when you're booking that you know where you're going to be staying. So we did hear that people were booking in one resort and they were being placed in another. So definitely make sure you are confirming which resort that you're booking in. They even had this great market, which we enjoyed. 
also, if you were not able to get off the resort, you could feel like you were in a little market, a lot of handmade items, which was really neat as well. So the nightlife was a lot of fun, even though it was in the middle of COVID. The nightclub wasn't open, but they had this great open air DJ, and then the bar was open. But if you did not feel comfortable really being around people that close, you also had the option to social distance. You could get served at your table. You didn't have to dance. But if you did feel comfortable, you had that option as well, which I really, really loved about this resort. I also loved the location of it. Even though it was further from the airport, so it was about an hour and 20 minutes, it was um, right in the middle of both Tulum and Playa de Carmen. So one day we did do a really quick trip in the afternoon to Playa de Carmen. Um, and then our friends who actually stayed longer did an all day trip to Tulum. So love that um, you had the option for both, especially if you're gonna stay there for a really long time. So back in the States, unfortunately, dreaming of the Barcelona Maya Riviera vacation that I had and absolutely 100% recommend. One of the best all-inclusive resorts I've been to. And I've been to over 15 in the Caribbean. And I love this one the best. Why? Well, it was newer, so it was super clean and modern. Love the layout, love the, the pools and the beaches. Everything was really close. The quality of the food and the service and the liquor were outstanding. And I love the fact that you did have access to the other resorts, even though some of them were not open, which brings me to COVID. So traveling during COVID, we did not travel at the time that you needed a test, but I know now you do and they actually do the testing right in the lobby it's about 150 dollars a person and we knew some people from canada that needed it and they were very happy with it so don't let this stop you from traveling it's very safe um, i definitely recommend this resort if you found this review helpful please like and subscribe and follow us on three days in trace noches while we take you on really fun exciting and affordable adventures and vacations that you can have in a really short amount of time